What is the moment when nature is inspired by culture? And is such a moment even possible? In the lab, we've been working towards additive manufacturing, uh, but also other techniques and technologies, uh, achieving very, very high scale in spatial and temporal resolution. So that has great implications for how do we think about materials and objects that are truly, truly alive. So we're reducing the dimensional mismatch between the body of the building and the environment. In Vespers, we have shown how we have engineered an E. coli cell to recreate an Aztec indigo pigment. And then that pigment, which is biologically produced, recapitulates a culturally handmade, craft-made. Instead of culture emulating nature, we found that nature begins to emulate culture. That is a really interesting place for me right now. How does one define that in intersection? And what are the boundaries between them? And how does one, how does one mitigate or mediate between them? Vespers is a collection of death masks uh, that are designed like life masks. And we take you from the physical world to the digital world to the biological world. So, so that kind of me mediation between the past, the present, and the future. And then the future goes to the past and then the cycle of life. And so what does it mean to contain this air uh, on the body in the building and then reuse this air? And what does it mean to live amongst the dead? They say we constantly inhale the atoms of oxygen that Julius Caesar and Cleopatra and Nelson Mandela exhaled, and this is physically true. We strive to achieve that intersection or language, um, controlling that language that allows us to program matter and program life, and then link between the ability to program between those two domains. For example, when people ask, what is, what is it good for? Well, you can take it to a very spiritual dimension, the notion that a death mask can be an air memento or a biological urn that can contain part of your uh, cherished one. And the techniques and the technology, technologies that we developed for the death mask resulted in applications that are very real world, tissue engineering, etc. The lab allows us to design tools for problems we don't know yet exist. So the, the, the tools are looking for a solution. And so I think going out into the world with some of these projects and some of these technologies will require us not only to succumb to tools looking for, to, to problems looking for tools, but to be able to apply those tools in meaningful ways such that they redefine, re-question the typology that they're being applied to, whether it's a wearable or a building, and not doing it as it is usually done, but questioning the typology of that building or that structure uh, based on the technology.